sailed down the middle, and you, uh, a hippo was in trouble, and you saved it from some dinosaurs. And then you went, oh, you met the ruler, who was a, like a Terra Folk guy. And you were actually nice to him and kind of made friends with him. And he has a sword called Shatter Spike that he can cut through stone or something with. And um, he asked you to take out some goblins, and you did. And they formed a battle stack. I got art of that. So, so. <laughs> um, and I got art of the weasel, too. It's not quite done, but it's almost done. And you ended up... He told you that you need a tablet. He cut it off of a statue that's in the city and hid it. So it, it was stuck in a zombie and the zombie's tied up in the middle of a horde. So you guys are in the marketplace building. There's two floors. You're on the second floor. So um, on either side, there's stairs that go down. And now there's a clump of zombies on either side. There's a hundred over here and a hundred over here. And, um, and the weasel had led... So, yeah, it's, there's, there's zombies at the bottom of each set of stairs. And pretty much near the center of the room is the zombie. And there's also a stall with potions and stuff on it near the prone zombie. So that's where we stopped last time. Yeah. I think, I guess, Iku is, you left Iku outside, right? Yeah, what, I think she was yes. watching the uh, the boat. Okay. And the hippo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is is the ceiling, or I should say, like the the floor in between the ground floor and the second floor we're on, is that stone? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> mostly no. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Mostly, mostly not. Is it like wood? Yeah. Like wood. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Can go investigate sort of where the the center would be. See if we can't like pry up some planks or something. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll go do that. Let me all go do that as opposed to running through a horde of a hundred zombies. Okay. So how are you going to pry up the boards? Like, what do you use to do that? Hmm. Well, I'm sure this rapier is built for this. <laughs> I think they're wiggly, right? Yeah. Do I have? Oh, rapiers. Are they? Yeah, they're pretty. Does anybody have a crowbar? Uh, a crowbar would be perfect. Oh, uh, let's um, see what I have in my pack here. I have a scholar's pack too. Do I, I don't have think a so. Nope. Oh, uh, <laughs> I do not. Hmm. No. So. No. No loose floorboards or anything. Some are sort of loose, but you know you're gonna you're gonna need have something to get in your grip in there, you know. I have a tinderbox if we just want to burn the place down, but <laughs> oh, I have an easy way of burning the place down <laughs> if we need to. I'm okay with that. All right, we. Hmm. All right. Do I have anything? Pry, pry, no. So do we want to? Um, so we had. So our thing is that we want to get the um, tablet, and then how far away is the is the tablet? Is the uh, potion stall on the other side of the uh, the arena? Past tablet. It's sort of in the middle, close to where the prone zombie is. Okay. Hmm. Weren't we planning on sending a uh, sending the weasel again to try to grab him again? You had said you wanted to snipe the, the prone guy. Oh, yeah, yeah that's. Um, so, this potion stall, it's just a, it's a table covered with a cloth that goes all the way to the ground, and on it there's like a rack with potions on it. Just so you know. Okay. Nothing matters. Do we, right. do we have access to Mage Hand? Yes. Let me see how far. 30 feet, though. Mage Hand is 30 feet, is 30 feet range. Is that, is that in range? Ooh. The, uh, the potion? It, it, if yeah. we walk. Are, are there <laughs> enough gaps in the, the floorboards that we we're playing around with that that might be in range from above it? Like if overhead? We can, yeah, hmm. You'd have to make a hole or something somehow. Yeah. Was like, Mage enough. Hand... If you I, want, think... I mean, Mage Hand only lifts up to, what, 20 pounds or something? It does. I think it's like 5... It's 10 pounds. Yeah, it's 10. So the tablet's very heavy, but... 
I mean, you, know, you could oh, have mage hand other stuff. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the potions. You could mage hand a potion. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, are we going to try and maybe make a hole in the ceiling, and then maybe like I can mage hand some of the potions? Well, I definitely don't want to run through the zombies, so definitely I like not. that idea. Okay. I guess. I guess we'll do that. So how do you how do you make the hole? How do you bash the hole open? Oh. I mean, we can just do it old school. I've got my mace, and I can just bash. All right. You want to do that? Um. So what? I guess while you're you want to synchronize the bash because I can um <laughs> use minor illusion to make it like a thunderclap or something like that. Every time, like you hit the thing. I mean, oh, yeah. to cover there's... the sound of it. Though, yeah, to cover the sense. sound. <laughs> like not. Just I can like shoot it like a little further away, so it's like the sound will come from not where we are, <laughs> like a little like thirty feet, like maybe like in a different direction. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, we can do that. All right, so I guess we'll do that. Okay, so you start bashing with your mace. Yeah. So blam, you know, you bust a hole in the floor. Then there's like a little cavity, and then there's another wood, and you <laughs> bash it there. And so near the roof of the first floor. There's all these wooden banisters. I don't know. They crisscross the top like a grid, sort of. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, down below, you see um, the tied up wiggly zombie with the, <laughs> the thing in it. And how big do you want to make the hole? Um, I guess not super huge. Maybe two feet in diameter, I think, because we just re really need a line of sight. Mm -hmm. Do we want to make it big enough for one of us to? Be able to fit through? Um, yeah, I guess we need to. We really okay. Uh, we could have alternatives. So we need to like get that tablet. Like a five foot, anyways. Five foot yeah, we'll just make it. We'll make it five foot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So bam, bam, bam. You hear a lot of moaning from down below, and you hear you know over the side, and over on that side, you see shadows making their way up the stairs. Ooh. Uh, Iris, Iris, like. <laughs> Still has the glowing, like, glowing gem. Mm -hmm. She's probably wondering when I'm gonna bring her back, but she's got to keep doing this. She's got to keep doing this until we're ready. Um, if I take a quick peek down, does it look like these zombies are clearing, like, so we have more or less a straight path to get to the tablet if we deal with these zombies? You see a bunch. Of, okay, you can kind of stick your head through the hole, sort of. Yeah, just uh, yeah, <laughs> just like. Uh, uh, the, the old cat meme <laughs> watching you. <laughs> okay. Alright. You stick your, your, you stick your head through and you look around. So what you see is some zombies from either clump are kind of coming towards the center. And some on the side with the thunder are starting to kind of try to make their way up the stairs. But they're really mm -hmm. bad at it, but a couple of them are almost up. Okay. So there mm -hmm. are zombies heading toward converging on your central... Spot. Okay. You see a lot of sawdust and wood pieces down at the bottom. <laughs> All right. Uh, is most effective here. I, I'm thinking that turn undead is going to be a thing here. That will be a good. But he, here, okay. here's my question: Do I do it up here and send it back down, or do I drop through the hole, go to the tablet, <laughs> pick up the tablet, hit turn undead, and then we just run? That sounds like a good plan. Okay, so two if zombies we need some... are up the stairs, and now they're... I guess you guys are in the middle, so they look at you, and they're like, and they have blue triangles on their heads. Mm. Glowing blue triangles. Mm. They start to shamble towards you. It'll be a few rounds before they get to you, though. It's okay. a long walk, you know? Yeah. Should, okay, so should we drop through the hole? Go to the tablet? I'll hit turn undead, and then hopefully we can skedaddle? <laughs> that seems prudent. That seems, yep. Okay, so I drop down through the hole. Hold on, it's a twenty-five foot drop. Do we have? Does anybody have? Do we have, I have rope, rope in our? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. What are you tying the rope to? Is there uh, any furniture up in here? Notice. Yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tie it off on some furniture. And there's 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 like little offices with doors, so you can do that too. Okay. So yeah. You tie it to something. All right. And you're gonna climb down the rope. You're gonna shoot me mm -hmm. down. Okay. Yep. Just yep. make a climb check. I think you only need a five for a rope. Oh, that's... Uh, 13? Okay, fine. Shimmy, 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 right? You come down. 
you see yep. a bunch of zombies from either side that were coming toward. Mm -hmm. Now they're like, but it'll take them a round or two to get here. And right okay. nearby, the, the, the light just happens to catch the bottles. You see <laughs> red liquid and a jar of goo. Possibly magical goo. Just, just like 20 feet from where you are. <laughs> I'm sure those aren't important. And oh, and the zombie, you, you land by the zombie. Yeah. It's like gnashing its teeth and trying to wiggle around to your leg. Arr, arr. Okay. Um, I signal at uh, uh, Lynette and Lemuel to come down. And then right. I'm going to go ahead and bash the zombie in the skull. The one that's trying to bite at my leg. Okay, you're going to bash the zombie. Okay, let's roll initiative. All right. All right, let's see. Cool. Let's see here. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to take a look at my watch and then make a sandwich, and then I'm going to bash the zombie in the skull. All right, what did uh, Lynette get? I got a 14. I got a 12. 14. Big five. Lynette got a 14. 12 for Lemuel and a 5 for Kyron. Okay, so Lynette, you get to go first. Do you want to climb down? Yep, I'm going to climb down. Okay, and so then... Make an athletics. Okay. Um, ten. Okay, you shimmy down. All right. Um, so I'm 20 feet away from the stall with the, uh, the potions. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to just start mage-handing some of the potions toward me. Okay. So there's, um, I think there's four. Okay. Two um, red. One is a different kind of red. And then there's a jar of goo, which looks like it might be too heavy for a, for a mage hand. Okay. So how much um, movement did I have I used up so far getting down the uh, I think climbing the rope. is half speed or something. So you did 25 feet. So, I mean, I'll just say you used one move or whatever. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, just grab, I'll grab the, um... Because if you kind of slid down the rope a little bit, you know, like, yeah. wee, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go and grab the dark red one. Dark and then red. I'm gonna make the, um... There's a label I, on it. It says, mm. Vitality, I think. Can I read any of the other ones on there? Yep. Or are there... Healing? Oh, wait. Healing, healing, and then the other one's in some weird Mesro language. Hmm. I guess they got the other potions from somebody who speaks common. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but, what, to your horror, as you... Oh, wait, you mage-handed? Yeah. Oh. No horror. Okay. Uh, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nothing happened, so we're fine. All right. And, uh, uh, so, Lynette, you slid down. Whoosh, you yeah, got, just... Whoosh, you got the vitality. There's yep, a, like right at your pack. feet. There's a, a tied up zombie trying to, you know. Do you mm -hmm. want to end your turn anywhere special? I mean, right now you're you're next to Kyron and the the, the the zombie. Um, I guess put me in the. I'm gonna be standing in the direction, looking at the closest toward the um. The stall. I want to keep that as little distance between me and the stall as possible as I grab stuff. Well, how wait? How close do you want to get to the stall? Um, right now you're 20 feet away. 15 feet away. I guess since there's some little bit of movement left. So. All right. Then it is zombie time. So zombies from either side on the bottom floor. Like 10 on each side. And it looks like they get closer. But it'll be they, they might get close to you next round. The round after they'll be able to chow, chow down on you. Um, and the one at Kyron's feet. Gonna try. He's got disadvantage, but he's gonna try to bite your something. So what does he got? Plus three. First try. I already failed. Five. Eight. Also an eight. So he's like trying to. You got metal boots, probably. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. So he's trying to but it's metal. So like part of his tooth is coming off. <laughs> okay. So zombies are closing in. Then it is. Lemuel's turn. You're gonna slide down. Oh, so Lemuel, you're up there. You mm -hmm. see the two zombies and a third one come up, come up out. They're getting closer. Upstairs. Yeah, 
I think I'm going to slide down the rope, and then once I hit the bottom, I'm going to reach up and cut the, what's left of the rope so I can take some of it with me. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> you cut well, the rope. Gonna, I'm not going to go back up there and untie it. All right. So um, how – do you land and cut it? Yeah. Okay. Just, so it's dangling it's a, there right in front of you? It's a 50-foot rope. I want to take some of it with me. Okay. So I think you lost like 20. Okay. That was going to be my next question. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Lemuel, you moved down, and would you like to do anything else? Um, nope, I'll just stick with Kyron and our zombie friend. Okay, right now you're next to the zombie. Do you want to be next to the zombie? or do you want? To... I'll move to the other side of Kyron so he's between the zombie and me. <laughs> All right. Then it is Kyron's turn. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and smash that zombie that is right next to me, as my original plan was. All right, I think you have advantage because he's because he's from. He's just it's all messed up. Yeah. Okay, that'll be a uh, twenty-one to hit. You hit. How much damage? Uh, big four points bludgeoning. Oh, okay. Oh, he's still, uh... You know, bam! You know, his head's a little... He, he got, like, a dent in it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. That was, like, really excited. Alright, uh... Do you want to move it all, or you want to... Is that it? Um, I'm just going to try to keep myself between that zombie and, uh, Lemuel and Lynette. So, hopefully he doesn't... Alright. Then it is Lynette's turn. You I see, see that. There's a potion stall, and you see, like, sunlight somehow comes in, somehow, through one of the doorways mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's just, you see, like, rainbow light reflecting in the ceiling from the potions. Mm -hmm. Which are probably magical. Mm -hmm. the, goo, I just... the goo, especially. I... <laughs> the heavy goo. But it's, it's too heavy for your mage hand. Go on. I I I look at the other. I like look at the at the spot. Like I have to see what that does. And then I go toward it. Priorities. <laughs> this is a priority Priorities. for me. Okay. So it was nice knowing you. you go yeah. over to the table, and you see um, there's two are labeled healing, and the jar has a Mezroin symbol. Mm -hmm. Gibberish, you know, like a maze. With a I'm thing. gonna grab that. With a dodecahedron or something. Uh, that makes it even better. I don't know what that is. But, oh no! There was, you know how the table was covered in cloth? Mm hmm. There's a zombie under there! Oh. It reaches out to grab you! Mm. From underneath. Plus All right. three. Uh, 15? 15? Yeah. Yes. Hits. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's claws. You know, I don't know. It gives you a chomp. So it's um, let's make up a post strength. He's trying to drag you under. All right. Um. Yo, oh, I got a nineteen. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Nope. Nine. Okay. So Actually, you, no. Yeah, you, nine. You don't take any damage, but you're grappled. It drags you under. So you guys see. You know, that like standing before the shimmering potions, and then all of a sudden, she got dragged underneath the cloth. So you're in a, a dank little space on the floor, and there's a zombie, like, you know, it's all rotted and missing. And, mm -hmm. I guess it's missing one eye, and it has an eye. It's, it's really gross. <laughs> it's really gross. Um, do I have uh, my actions left? You have an action, yeah, you do. You know what? Um, I'm just going to like in the thing, just kind of take my rods and just kind of like just shoot it up. And I'm underneath, right? Mm -hmm. You just see like little darts, just like magic darts, just like explode out of the out of the water and then just come back down. I'm gonna cast magic missile at second level, so four d four. Uh, 
six, ten. Fourteen. Okay, so your missiles, like, hit it, and, uh, like, blow right through its chest. And there's a ton of damage. You did fourteen, but it's still animate. Okay, now, that's it for Lynette. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, after Lynette is me! So, zombie horde. Now they're real close. Like, 20 feet away or whatever. You know, they're going to be here next round. And um, that means they're right next to the table, some of them. Where Lynette got dragged under. And Lynette, you're under the table, and the thing tries to chomp on you. It rolls. That's a uh, natural twenty. Oof. So y'all are Oof, ow. Oh Ugh. Seven points of damage. Okay, that's not the worst. And uh, that's it for me. Uh then it is Lemuel's turn. I'm going to run over to where Lynette disappeared under the table. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, there's zombies, like, right there. Like, ten of them. Oh, jeez. So, I mean, you'll be adjacent to two, probably, when you go there. Or you could get diagonal to the table, and you won't be adjacent to any of them. But on their next turn, they can move forward. Can I, like, can I try and do a leap over the table to land on the other side of it? Like, do acrobatics past him? Yeah. Go ahead and make one. As long as it's not really bad, you're fine. Uh, there is no possible way this will end poorly. Mm. Uh, 13. Yeah, you... Okay. So you run over, jump on your other side of the table. Okay? Can There's I... There's more rows of tables in this room. It's like a flea market kind of thing. Okay. <clears throat> Can I attempt to grab Lynette and... Pull her out from under the table. Okay, underneath you see um, Lynette. It's kind of on top of her a little bit. Okay. So what, what would you like to do? You haven't made an, uh, You haven't used an action. Okay. I'll just go ahead and attempt to stab it. It is hurt. You can tell it's it's got huge holes in its torso. Okay, you're gonna okay. stab it. Okay. Will that be advantage? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Let's see. That's a seven and a ten. <laughs> You hit! You hit! Yay! How much damage? Okay. Uh, uh, rapier plus sneak attack. Uh, six piercing, though. Six. It's still up. Okay. Bam! You stab it. It's, like, all messed up, you know? Where did you stab it? Um, I don't know. Whatever part that's not going to stab Lynette. <laughs> the, the, the head. Okay. Oh, bam, you stab it in the head, and there's a huge hole. And maggots creep oh. out. Alright, that was Lemuel's turn. Now it's Chiron's turn. Alright, I'm going to reach down and put my hands on the tablet. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to I'm gonna uh, channel divinity and <laughs> um, turn undead. So what, do I make a save or something? Yeah, it's a wisdom save for every undead creature within 30 feet of me. Within 30 feet. Okay, well, the tablet guy failed by a lot. I need a what? What is it? Uh, you need a 13. Okay, so I'll do... Just, there's 20 of them, so... I'll do... Oh my God. Well, mm, not within 30, yeah, it's probably around, you know, I'll say... So I'll just roll for clumps of five, so we can... Don't have to waste all our life here. So, five made it. Five failed it. That's the table side. <laughs> uh, on the your side... Um... Uh, Made it. Made it. So stupid. But so front front clump of them near the table. And so what happens to them when they fail? Uh, they're frightened of me. Okay. Is it for like a minute or something? Yes. Okay. Okay, so a bunch bolt over there. And the one on the ground is frightened of you and trying to roll away, you know. Uh, it's not getting anywhere. Um, it, it, as he's trying to go, if I've got my hands on the tablet, can I can I yank it while he's trying to run away from me? Yeah, okay. Go ahead, make it a strength. It's it's lodged in there. You stick your foot yeah. on it, and you can. 
just straight strength? Yeah. That nah, doesn't matter. Oh, nope. Nope. I don't. Natural one. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, really? A one? Yeah, a one. Uh, um, it, it bites your hand, and you take four points. <clears throat> AC 15, does that hit? Or, uh, 15, AC 15 does not hit. Okay, wait, 15 plus 3. So 18? Ah, 18 does hit. Sorry. That's the number. Four damage. Alright. Alright. It's a bad day. Alright, after Kyron, Lynette! Yep. Zombies all messed up. Maggots. Ugh, one drops on your shoulder. Yep, so the same thing happened. Just more, just more of these, like, little, uh, little, like, purple magic darts just like kind of just haphazardly just blast out it like they're they're more chaotic than the last time okay. like they'll try and hit that one okay so you set for a one five seven twelve points of damage okay so let's see here twelve okay he has to make a con save twelve right <clears throat> what is it dc five plus damage so I need a seventeen I have a Plus three. Have a I'll charge it up. Oh, here we go. Positive energy. He failed it! 11 oh. plus three is 14. Okay. All right. So, blam! You just... The whole table shakes. So, um, clang, clang, yeah, so clang, 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 clang. <laughs> so my hat was probably, like, floating on there, and they just, all of a sudden you just see the head, like, just appear, like, out of the water. And the head, I just, like, I... I look at uh, I look at Le Lemuel and I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, and then I just bolt toward the um, toward um, Kyron and the tablet, away from the zombies. Okay, so you can you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, so you kind of climb diagonal so you don't you know provoke from them. You can boom, go over to him. Okay, so that was um, Lynette's turn, and it's my turn. Oh my god! So zombie on the ground, Kyron's. <laughs> Tries to chop on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, three. Nine yeah. plus three. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. Um, but now... <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, my God. Horde... Oh, God! Horde oh. of zombies! Oh, my God. <laughs> Goes right so, by the table. Uh, Lemuel. The five... You're under the table, right, Lemuel? Horde of zombies yeah. goes right by your table. So like, are those are total. those the ones that failed the save? Uh, five failed it. They're gone. So there's five on Lemuel's side who come close, and there's okay. ten on your side, and they all. Okay. Do I? Here we go. Have... So they they kind of surround you guys, and um, <laughs> this is horrible. This is this was whose idea was this? Because this is all horrible. <laughs> my idea. My terrible. Don't die! Hero. All right. Oh my god. They're gonna do the zombie horde thing. They'll just try to drag you down. This doesn't. So it'll just be one roll for each of you. So Kyron is doing a post mm -hmm. strength. Oh, I rolled really bad. Seven. Uh, I'm at a 16. Okay, so they're, uh, so they're all around. You're trying to pull you down. And you're trying to bite you. you pop, pop, pop. Alright, Lynette, yep. pose strength. I rolled bad again. Nine. Nine. All right, I'm going to use my luck. One of my two luck points left. Come on. Oh, God. 18. 18. 18. Um, 18. You, okay, so they're trying to drag you down. And they're trying to bite at you. But for this round, you're okay. But you are now completely... There's 15 Whoa. zombies around you. Blech. Oh, my God. Um, and Lemuel, they just went right by you. So you're clear. Um, and oh, that's then, good. Then it's that's Lemuel's good. turn. So, on either side of the room, way on either side of the room, there's zombies. And then, in the center, there's 15 surrounding your trusty allies. There's still the rope dangling down, right there, above them, that you caught. Mm -hmm. Still, they could, you know. Yeah, still can reach it. We still it's need right the there. tablet, too. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, so what do you all want to do, Lemuel? He's safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, gleaming potions before you. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say uh, <laughs> anything uh, of particular interest that besides the one that I uh, surprisingly say healing in the common tongue on them. 
And per just perfect comment. Yeah. No, it's two healing, and then there's the jar oh of goo God. that's got the weird symbols on it. Oh, I thought I grabbed the, the jar of Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you have it then. Okay. Yeah. Is it just the healing potions left here then? Yep. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to grab those and quickly uh, stuff those in my pouch. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then... <laughs> I, uh, are there any windows on this first floor? Um, there's a few rows of tables, but yeah, there are some windows on the sides of them. They're kind of small, but you know, and there's vegetation kind of covering them, but they're okay. There. I'm gonna go bring the hippo and the guy for help. I'll be back. I'm gonna break for one of the windows. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have to jump some tables. Why don't you make a okay. acrobatics? Sure. Uh, 13. 13, okay. So you, a couple rows, and you get there. So you see the windows closed, and there's vegetation mm -hmm. on it. And it looks, it hasn't been opened in century, like decades at least. So it might be hard to open. It's glass. Um, when you yell that, a few of the zombies peel off from the horde that couldn't reach those two. So five of them, like, leave them and are, like, trying to get, you know, walk through, you know through the tables, and they're going to start crawling under, so it'll take them a long time to get to you. But So five peeled off. All right, mm -hmm. so that was Lemuel's turn. Kyron, there's ten zombies around you. <sighs> One at your feet. Uh... And remember, like, <clears throat> you will, you provoking from them will be horrible. <laughs> yeah, Although, I know. disengage is an action. But we need the tablet. <sighs> All right, well, you know what? If the Raven Queen says it's time, then the Raven Queen says it's time. I'm going to cast, uh, as a bonus action, Spiritual, spiritual Weapon. Mm -hmm. And the Ethereal Black Scythe pops into into being right next to the, uh, the zombie with the tablet in him. And the Scythe is going to go ahead and make an attack against him. Okay. Uh, do I still get advantage on that one? Uh, the best one is a 19. Yep. And that'll be 11 points of force damage, I believe. So you slice into its neck, and its neck is half cut off. It's still animate, though. <clears throat> All right. So then I've got to make my uh, make my mace attack against him as my action. Oh, okay. Uh, that is also a... Nope, that's an 18. 18. Alright, uh, that hits. And damage... Oops, I the wrong die. Damage is 5 bludgeoning. Still got... Almost dead, but not quite. You kind of cave in half of his head. Ah. Alright. Is that it for Kyron? <laughs> Yep, just going to brace myself for the oncoming barrage of zombies. Lemuel, there are ten zombies around you and Karin. Uh, Lynette, you mean? Oh, sorry, Lynette. Ah. Uh, Alright, um, that zombie's still alive. We have to... I am going to... Yeah, just, just send... Just magic darts, just bracing past Kyra and just hit hit try and take down that zombie so he can grab it and we can get out. Magic missile? Yep. Okay. Good old four. Five. Ah. He has two hit points left. I just want to see he's gotta make a roll when you Yeah, it's um eight points. Okay, eight plus five, thirteen. So I have a plus three. Roll to seven. Okay. Bam, 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 bam! Destroy. His face is gone. The whole head is gone. He just goes limp. Okay. Um, Grab it and go. Grab it and yeah. go. Grab yep. it and go. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll use my my movement to kind of like get next to it and kind of just grab grab this this tablet. Okay. Um, I think that's an action probably to I'll pull just, it out. Ooh. Um, are we uh, pointing out your... Uh, your weasel says in your head. Hmm. Um, I guess it says 
remember me. And it boop, pops out. Like, oh, jiggles around. I jumps. Just... Try to jump over it. Yeah, you kind of just hear Lynette just say, ah, oh, don't be so dramatic. <laughs> and then, like, hey! <laughs> I don't have to do this, you know. Alright. He's gonna try to jump over the horde. Does so. Yeah. Okay, and he's trying to get their attention. So let's see now. Okay. Um so he's ten. So I'm gonna say four heal off and they're coming after your your weasel be leading them. Okay. So there's six that are gonna be around you. Alright, so Lynette, you still have a move. Do you wanna do anything? Um Karen, do you want? Are you gonna grab it and, and then try and run? Because I can hold the thing if you're if you have like any means of like fighting these, these things off. Or what's our plan? I, mean, <laughs> I can I can just I can just brute strength it. If you can grab it and go, I'll I'll be the rear guard and and you know trail behind you. All right, I'll um yeah. So that'll do. I'll get in position to grab it. So I'll be right above that that dead zombie. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that it for Lynette? Mm hmm That's that's it. So it is um, indeed it. Zombies. Oh god. Okay. So here we go. Three on Kyron and three on Lynette. Oh. Kyron. Oh. So I have a plus three. God. Fifteen? Nope. Less than that. Fourteen plus three. Seventeen? Still no. I block it off with my shield. Alright. Lynette. Plus three. Eight? Nope. I swear it. Seven? Nope. Last one. Seventeen. So uh, you take four damage. Okay. I will. So they're around you. You're kind of fending them God. off. But one gets a bite on your arm. <laughs> you know, blood. This okay. Is... So there's three on each of you. Okay. All right. And that was my turn. Lemuel, your turn. All right. Um, anything handy that I can use to try and smash out the window, just like grab a stool or something. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff, yeah. Yeah. You, you grab a stool and just... Yeah. Okay. Shatter the window. Shatter the window. Uh, I, I don't suppose I'm on the side where we left Iku and the hippo. Yes, you are. I am? I was gonna say, can I see them? Can I, like, shout at them, or... Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going to, uh, I don't know. I'll go ahead and lever myself out of the window and, uh... Okay, make a, uh, dexterity. Dexterity. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. There's a little bit of broken glass, but you were able to nimbly avoid it with no problem. So you kind of plop out, and there's water, you know, a foot or two of water. And you see them down there, and, um, they're just kind of hanging out. Oh, it's so nice out today. <laughs> I'm going to start running that way and uh, yelling, we might be needing some help right about now. Okay, let me roll for Iku. The hippo can't fit in the window, but okay. Iku will go after Kyron. All right, so that's it for Lemuel. Well, I wasn't going to take the hippo through the window. <laughs> but <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it would be impressive. It would <laughs> just <laughs> bust through. <laughs> oh. All right. Maybe it can stand outside and bellow a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyron, it is your turn. There are three zombies around you. Okay. Um, spiritual weapon is going to move and hit one of them. I guess the most threatening. Uh, that is a 14. And that'll be 11 points of damage again. 11. Okay. Yeah. With your mace? No, with the, with the scythe. Oh, the, the scythe, right. Okay, you slice a big slice in his chest. Yep, and then now comes the mace. Uh, that's a 10. Yes. Four, uh, eight. I'm sorry, six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Bam! All right. Hurt. Not quite that. He staggered, though. All right. Is that right. it for? 
Yeah, if there's a way I can kind of, uh, without provoking an attack of opportunity, kind of interpose myself between uh, Lynette and as many of the zombies as possible. Just do what I can to kind of... You want to get all of their attention. Yes, I want them coming at me. Okay, it seems to work. Alright, so after Kyron's turn, Igu. Okay, so she's going to make her way over. She's got all... Lemuel, are you injured? Uh, yeah, a little. She runs over, puts her hands on you, and you heal for 11 points. Okay, let's get back up to full. She looks like she's getting ready to climb through the window. She'll have to do that next turn. Alright, so that was Iku. The hippo kind of comes over. It's like, looks at you, you know, thinks you're going to, like, play with it or something. Alright, uh... Then it is Lynette's turn. So Lynette, uh, Kyron seems to have all of their attention. All right, I'm gonna just like, just grab the um, tablet and then just kind of like go in the like kind of bolt in the direction that we were planning escaping from, and then stow it away in my back, and then just kind of like get ready to help help Kyron from. Okay, so you'll need to make a strength to dislodge the tablet. I will use. <laughs> My last, like, divinity thing, my, um, portent, my last portent, uh, to make a 13. 13. That's what you got? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my, okay. my roll-up you, thing. Okay. You, you yank it out. And I am... And dust. then just, yeah, I'll... This is like dead dust. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you so, have yeah, it. Just... And when you move, um, while they have attention on Chiron, mm-hmm. some might... Make attacks of opportunity if you move. Yeah. Ready? Mm hmm. 16. Shield. Oh, that's it. 16, so four points. Yep. And where okay. are you uh, going? Um, we're going toward the. Um, where were we? We're going toward the. The window? Yeah, toward the window, yes. Okay. Way there. Um, are you jumping tables or crawling under them or what? Oh, what? Oh, wait, that's right. Hold on. All right, so you look towards the tables. Remember, there's a bunch that started coming or starting to crawl under the tables towards yeah. Lemuel. So yeah. how do you want to navigate? Was that our plan was going through the window, right? I don't that was that was Lemuel's plan. I don't know if that was all of our plan. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the zombies right now are crawling. Mm-hmm. Crawling under from table to table very slowly. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump over, jump on the tables. Yeah! All right. Uh, so you to climb on a table. And you're yep. gonna jump. Yep. All right, table set one. All right, acrobatics. And you're gonna oh table. boy. Oh boy. Eleven. That's good enough. Okay, and you can do another row. This. This does not look graceful. This looks like I'm on. This is like, I'm like Mr. M- Mr. Magooing my way through this. This is look. This looks <laughs> accidental. Ah. Oh, six. Dang. That was probably <laughs> six. Okay, so you jump, you land on the table, but it's so old, it just and you fall through. So you see zombies nearby, like they all turn their heads and look at you. All right. Um, and your little buddy. Oh God. Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh no. Um, what's your connection to your familiar like? <laughs> how, how many hit points does it have? Oh, Iris has uh Iris has one hit point. We're gonna file that under questions you never want to hear your DM. Does anything happen if your familiar dies to you? She doesn't die, she poofs out of existence. And goes back to the Feywild. So a zombie, Iris is, you know, really trying to keep their attention. You know, they turn mm-hmm. when they hear the noise. One of them, and she doesn't, one of them, just, but then she just, yep. And I guess the, the gem thing just, bling, bling, on the ground. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they're all staring at that. Ugh. I can, I can sense a great amount of anger from Iris. She's going to be really mad next time I summon her. Okay, that was Lynette's turn. Okay. I survived. Alright, so my turn. So, Kyron has six 
zombies around him? I think so. You have a high AC, though. I only have a plus three. Here we go. Great. 17 plus three. 20. Yeah, that's good. So 4 damage. 16 plus 3. Jesus. Another 4. What the? A 1. Hey, okay. that's good. That, that's good. 6. Yeah. That's, that's 16 plus 3. 16 plus 3? Oh, we're close. Uh, four plus three. Okay. That's that's. Is that it? Did I do six? That was six. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So uh, some of them are, you know, um, and you know, Lynette had torn out the thing, um, and then uh, um, so let's see. Oh, the crawling zombies. Uh, one gets to Lynette and reaches for your. Arm and tries to bite you. Plus three. You're uh, we're both thirteen. Shield. Shield. Okay. So that's um sixteen. I would. My AC sixteen. So it crawls, lunges, and you put your magic Ooh. shield up and, <laughs> and kind of bleh, staggers it back. Okay. Um, also, Chiron, you you feel stuff falling on you. Dust, wood. And your rope up. wiggles a little bit. Yeah, I look up. Am I looking at zombies? There's two zombies looking down at you. <laughs> Very <laughs> close to the hole. Like, they might fall in oh at my. any moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is, uh. <laughs> I hate everything. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was my turn, right? Or this is, whose turn was uh, that? Oh, that was mine, yeah. So, Lemuel's, yeah. Lemuel's turn. You're outside. Oh. The old lady's getting ready to climb in. Um. <laughs> you see everything. You saw it, Lynette. <laughs> Jumping good, but the table just gave out. And you see, he's he's like just in a crowd of zombies. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I hop back uh, through the window? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I guess I'll try and uh, get over oh to God. Lynette at least. Okay. There's only one row of tables, and then when it's there. Okay. So there's a zombie. She's on the ground, oh. and the zombie's on the ground next to her, but got repelled back a little bit. Okay. Can I attack it as well? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, attack this zombie. Wait, it's it's on the ground? Mm -hmm. Would it be considered prone? I'm trying to think. Like, I don't know if sneak attack would apply. Go ahead, yeah. It's yeah. also next to me as well. So that's... Oh, yeah. That's, thank you. That's true. Uh, so, 21. Yeah. And then that'll do, uh, 9. 9 total? Mm-hmm. 9, nine. nine. Hurt it, but not. So you stabbed it? Yep. Alright. Is that it for Lemuel's turn? Uh, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to be able to do for the moment. Tyron. Okay. <laughs> What is the situation by the potions table right now? There's two potions on it. Are there any zombies nearby? Mm, no. Um, the, the, the weasel drew, drew them at least 20, 30 feet away from the table. Maybe 40. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bonus action to go ahead and make uh, another uh, scythe attack against that same zombie that, that's a little bit hurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that's not going to work. That's, well, actually, the zombie, it might. A seven? No, almost. But no. Okay. Um, all right. So for my action, I will disengage. And then I'm going to book it to the potion table. Okay, well, you're... S there's six, so there is space for you to move. Okay. Right? Because there's eight yeah. squares around you. Ooh. So there is, there is a hole, right? Okay, yeah. so you're going to disengage, and then what? Yeah. Going uh, to go to the, the potions table, and um, hopefully, and kind of go around, well, I, I don't know, over or under or around, so the, the table is in between me and the zombies. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if I can grab the healing potion now, but if, if not, my hand is like right next to it. Okay, so you're going to, uh, do you want to go under or over? Um... 
I'd imagine under would be more fitting. Run, 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 run. You're gonna slide. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do the. I'll do the uh, pop up slide like I'm going into second base. All right. Okay. And the potions are right there. Okay. Uh. So. Yeah. You. I don't. Picking. I think you can grab them now. Okay. You yeah. I'll go them. ahead. I'll right. go ahead and oh. snatch them. Yeah. All right. That was Kyron's turn. Iku. Okay. All right. She kind of waddles over to you guys, you know, old lady. She's like, you, you want, would you like me to hit it? <laughs> yeah! Alright, she hits it. And it does, uh, how much does it do? do? Um, okay. Bam, she hits it for, the staff kind of glows a little bit. She, and it, let's see, the one that was lying down, you did seven to it, right? Uh, nine. Nine, okay, she did. All right. Um, okay, zombies. The head's gone. <laughs> she did a pile of damage to <sighs> it somehow. And you see her eyes glow golden for a moment. And then it goes away. Oh, did more than I Ooh. thought it would. Well, we better get out of here. All right, uh, and then it is Lynette's turn. That zombie's still around there, that one that's next to me, or is that one? Did you hit that one? She destroyed it. All right. Um, I'm going to get up. I'm going to move toward the um, move toward the rope. I'm going to stop right right at the rope. Wait, wait. I mean, wait. not the rope. Not the, not the rope. The, the window. The window. <laughs> not... I can't think in, in my mind that there is a rope in the window. That's So I'm going to just stop by the window, and then if anything attacks, like, Chiron, I'm going to... Send a, um, I'm going to shoot a firebolt at it. Okay, like so you're going to kind of cover him? him? Okay. Yeah, I'll give him cover. All right. Okay, so you're kind of, like, readying. Mm-hmm. All right, so Kyron, um, you jumped over, and there was some zombies crawling towards them. I guess one will try to crawl towards you. So it crawls under some table. It can't attack this round, but it gets adjacent to you, and it's like, trying to grab you. Um, you also see... Um, from the hole in the ceiling, a zombie just, you know, like, some of the pile just kind of scatters, you know, and then the other one, and there's, like, a big pile of zombies, like, on the ground, like, turtles, you know, and, um, there's a bunch of other ones staring at the glowing gem, and then there's the three or four that are crawling, and one peeled off, so two are crawling towards those two, one is crawled towards Kyron, uh, and that's my turn, Lemuel's turn, Lemuel, there are crawling ones coming towards you. Like next round, they might get to you. Are they? They're crawling under the tables. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hop across the tables towards Kyron. <laughs> oh, okay. Make a make a acro uh, athletics is jumping, right? So, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so athletics. Athletics. Uh, fourteen. Okay, and then do another table. Athletics. Yep. Uh, thirteen. Okay. Okay, and then you get to Kyron. And want to uh, attack the zombie on the ground? Um, yeah, I or will attack. Whatever. One. whatever you want. Yeah, I'll attack one on the ground. Uh, Fifteen. You hit. How much damage? Okay. Ten. Ooh, okay. It's hurt. All right. Is that it for Lemuel? What's taking you so long? <laughs> Look, things are happening, okay? <laughs> All right. Kyron, uh, it's your turn. Yeah, okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chug one of these potions. Okay. So 2d4 plus 2. You want me to roll it? Or do you uh, roll? It's up, up to you. All right. So 4, 1, 5, 7 points. 7 points. Okay. That Ooh. is better than is... what I was at before. What were you at before? Four. Oh, oh my God. Uh. <laughs> uh -uh. It's one zombie. Um, it. uh. So uh, my my side is still floating out there. Um, it, I think it can move 20 feet in a turn. Is that close enough to get it back towards me to, to get the zombie that's close to us? Yep. Okay. So I'll go ahead and hit that. And that'll be uh, 13. All right. Hits. And seven points of damage. Boom, all right. It's all messed up, but it's still animated. 
Is that it for Kyron? Um, you have a move still, I think. It's true. I'd assume... Okay, if I provoke this attack of opportunity since it's on the ground, is it going to be disadvantaged? I think so, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, do I have a more or less clear line between me and the window of escape? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and risk the attack of opportunity. I'm going to book it towards the window. 11 total. You made it. 11. Sweet. Ooh. All right, so you... Okay, so you can get to the window. There are some zombies crawling towards you. But... Yeah. All right, that was uh, Kyron's turn. Uh, Lynette, you are covering Kyron. There are two zombies crawling under the tables coming towards you. Okay, um... Can I um, shoot a firebolt and then start making my way climbing through the window? With that, Or is that just a, the window a single action? You can, my, my, you can do both. Okay, yep. All right, I'll shoot... Um, the ones on the on the table. First, my attack is geez. Okay, uh, thirteen. You hit. All right. Nice at having things. Um, that is eight points of damage. Okay. So your uh, that, your firebolt like flies very close to a tabletop, and mm -hmm. it's smoking a little bit. And woo, you, you started a fire, it's, but you're uh, you're yeah. okay. Boom! You hit him for That's eight. Fine. Mm -hmm. Crawler. Okay. Just added more chaos to this thing. Just have fire. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed it, what happened? All right, that, and you're climbing through the window, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. You're gonna stay right by the window, like next to it or something, or do you wanna? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll so see. you're in like a foot or two deep of water outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, that was Lynette's turn. Okay, my turn. So, Kyron ran. And Lemuel is over by the potion table, right? Mm hmm Okay, so Chiron. Let's see here. Two zombies are crawling towards you. Sure. I think one hits you for four. So they crawl up to you, kind of pull themselves up your body, and, and one bites. That's All a right. flavor mm -hmm. crawl, you know. They're sure. adjacent to you. But they're crawling up your body, uh, but you can shrug them off, you know. Um, okay, so that's my turn. Lemuel's turn. Kyron's right by the window. He's got two uh, of the walking dead hu hugging him. Uh -oh. They're hugging on him. Yeah. yeah, I'll run back over to Kyron and try and spot one of them off with the rapier. Maybe. Okay. okay. Uh, are you just trying to knock it back or are you, are you trying to do damage? Uh, trying to do damage. Okay. That'll be, uh, 15. Mm -hmm. How much damage? That'll do... <laughs> Three. Okay. It actually goes in the eye. Ooh, it's all messed up. Bloody. Is that it? Now, you ran over there. Okay, now you're, you're there. Are you gonna end your turn adjacent to Kyron and the zombies, or do you want to move away a little bit? No, I'll end my turn adjacent to both. Okay, um, Iku runs over with her glow, her staff starts to glow and her eyes glow golden. Uh, Kyron, make a perception or something. Perception. Uh, 14. Uh, you see, 13. for a moment, you get a glimpse of a, like, over her, there's a huge snake head, kind of made of gold, shimmering. For a moment around her head she strikes she hits one of the zombies and it goes flying like 30 feet away through a table and she says oh i got lucky <laughs> all right that was uh whose turn was that lemuels yeah yes Kyron, there's one zombie it's on you the other zombies in the room are kind of trying to go through oh. the tables but they're not really having a lot of progress all right, I've got a uh, spiritual weapon, so I'll go ahead and uh, bonus attack with that. Uh, that is an 11. Spiritual weapon, yes. Yep. And that'll be 8 points of damage. 8 points. Okay, that one is the one that she stabbed in the eye. It's very, very hurt. Very close to death. 
How many zombies are potentially close to me other than the one that's on me? None. It'll, None. They'll, they'll get to you in a few rounds, but some of them are going to eventually figure out they can crawl under the tables. But for now, they're kind of like walking against the tables and not making any progress, you know? All right. I don't like these hugs, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, mace this guy. Okay. And that's a 11. You hit. How much damage? Four... Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Six. So I need no levels. Okay. So, bam! You hit it in the head. It falls to the ground. Oh. And it gets back up. Oh, oh it's got one hit point. Oh. Okay. That's it for Kyron. Iku's turn. Um. Suddenly, like, she goes to swing her staff. And, like, there's just the whole... Your whole area is engulfed in golden light. And when you come back, you just see little pieces of ash plop to the ground and the zombie's gone. She says, oh, I, I must have... Hmm. You guys cast a lot of spells, huh? She kind of climbs through the window. <clears throat> okay, and you guys can get out. Do you get out? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. yes, oh my god. I'm gonna, like, shove Kyron through the window. Yeah, we just kind of, like, pull, pull him through. I just kind of, like, pull as hard as I can. Everyone that's pulling, coming through the window. <laughs> ah, well, I think that went well. <laughs> well, we are alive. Entirely as we planned it. Perfect execution. Yes. First try. <laughs> now let's never speak of it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, you're in this. <laughs> you're in this city of Mezra. Uh, there's a lot of lot of big places to go here. Where, what would you like to do now? <laughs> oh my God. Iku, what what can are we, we supposed to somewhere? do? You just yeah, here looking for clues to Omu. Oh, oh, you have the tablet now. Yeah, let's see. What yes. were we supposed to do with the tablet again? You want to look at it? Yes. Uh, okay, let's... so you, you gather around your hippo. Yes. Yes. You place the tablet on the hippo. And you uh, get a good I want to sit on the hippo. Okay, you sit on the hippo. All right. Um, let's see here. The tablet depicts a maze. With uh, Mezroan symbols on it. Uh, runes are etched around its perimeter. Let's spell out something in some language. Mm. So well, this looks like gibberish to me. Yeah. So around it, uh, so there's the writing, there's the maze, and around it there's like ten symbols. Mm. Well, this, I can't read this, but... Give enough time, I think I could translate it. So require us not getting eaten in the middle of the night. Iku but... asks, do you have a do you have a spell that will let you understand this? Actually, yes, I do. But oh, okay. But I'm exhausted from the horror of the undead that was in there. So I need a little bit of a rest, a little bit of. Okay. So it sounds like you guys want to find a place to take a long rest. Oh, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> the <laughs> longest of oh, rest. The longest. <laughs> oh. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I feel great. <laughs> I have a, I have a 11 AC. <laughs> <laughs> I fought approximately 795 zombies. <laughs> Give or take. You had, you had four hit points? Four hit points. If I, I had, had to take another hit, I had three, and I was out of spells. I I am out of spells, out of luck, and out of portent. That was literally everything. Everything I had. Ooh, I'm glad. Oh. And my we and and Iris, Iris is somewhere. <laughs> three. Oh. So, so. Uh, where do you oh. want to go? I have the map oh. here. So. Oh boy. Um, uh, well, I'll, I'll ask Iku if, uh, <laughs> if she has any recommendations. I'm just an old lady. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, just, a, just an old lady. Yeah, I, I can't help but notice you, uh, you, you glow a little bit. How long has that been happening, exactly? This city has strange magic. We got lucky. <clears throat> Don't talk so. to me about luck, please. <laughs> Being, being a cleric, do I do I recognize her uh, abilities as cleric-like, or is it something else entirely? It's not cleric-like. Okay. Oh. It does came off that way, though, didn't it? 
Yeah, kind of with the. It almost seemed like the the snake god or something was blessing her. So. <clears throat> well, as far as places to rest, uh, we did recently evict a group of goblins from that arena. That might be a good place to go back to, and it's just across the street. Yeah. Uh... I mean, go as, long as, as long as they don't want to resettle their home, yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. They got yeah. launched really <laughs> far away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe they didn't serve, maybe. Yeah, this is a good thing. I think you killed everybody but like one or two of them. <laughs> yeah. Why did they even oh. have that letter? Hmm? I mean, <laughs> their escape pod, I guess. Yeah. I guess, you know, they're next to like a horde of undead. I guess that's maybe the best way out. Or if the horde of undead gets on there, they can pop the lever and make the undead go. That makes more sense now. Oh, okay. uh, we think of that now. Okay, yeah. so you're gonna go to the amphitheater. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. We'll... All right. Uh, once majestic amphitheater towers over the surrounding buildings, life-size statues of dinosaurs decorate its walls, and canvas canopies hang limply above its grandstands. Swamp water surrounds the building on all sides. Uh, inside. Oh, looks like there's a stage. Uh, wow. That's it. And the big circular green carpet. And uh, now there's no... There's, that's it. So, you're, you're clear. To, you're oh, God. Thing. So, you're going to take a long rest? Yes. Yes. Are you, yeah. Are you going to yeah. keep a watch or anything like that? Yeah, we'll, we'll set a watch rotation. Yeah. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll take first. Thank you. <laughs> That's the only person at full hit points. Who's second? Uh, could we have Iku take second watch? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And, and then uh, I'll take third. And okay. then if you want to take dog watch. Okay, yep. Okay, so um, you guys can like eat before you go to sleep or anything like that? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. How much water do you have? Um, uh, we had what four water skins each? Oh, you down. did. Okay, so did we? yeah, I think that's right. I recall okay. that from yeah. Okay, when okay. We started. Good. Thanks. So you need two gallons a day to survive. So you have to drink all that water, or else you'd be dehydrated. Okay. Mm, okay. So during the night, what's her face? Makes a sets up a rain catcher through like mm -hmm. an open area of the ceiling. So if it rains, it'll catch the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does not rain though. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> um, as you guys are getting, you know, eating and resting and drinking and getting ready to go to sleep, <clears throat> she says, uh, you, "Have you ever been to Mbala? Mbala, what's that? I'll tell you the tale of Mbala." She tells you a story about there's a village of, you know, a village of people and this mysterious woman. This is the name from the book. Nanny Poo Poo. That's her name. <laughs> Nanny Poo Poo moved in and first she seemed helpful, but she ate everyone in the village. <laughs> and now she's the only one left. And I fear for the jungles of Cholt. Nanny Poo Poo must be stopped. And I'm starting to think you might be the ones to stop her. Are you well, sure? Because you, you seem a little bit more powerful than us. <laughs> I'm just an old lady. Yeah, a pretty badass old lady. Um, but since you really uh, saved us in that whole situation back there, I think I think I'd be willing to go and help help in this nanny poo poo situation she says excellent sleep <laughs> yeah sleep <laughs> we are <Okay>. eating <laughs> okay so you guys rest take a long rest yeah yeah yes. okay so you gain the effects of a long rest oh boy yep hey yeah uh... and you know place is very quiet like the whole mm -hmm. Nezra is very quiet so. once in a while you hear like a weird noise and it's like like spoosh or you know a distant like 
croaking noise or groan, you know. But uh, yeah. so okay, so uh, next day you're you're up. Oh, so do you want to cast your language spell? Or? Yeah. So um, in the beginning of so I'm, I get up a little earlier and first of all I cast my first ritual of which of find familiar. So I, I summon back Iris and she's like hey and we just like argue for like a good like 15 minutes you're welcome That's what good, I, thank you I said you're fine you're fine I nope. can't you're not crying <laughs> I you don't crying. really seem that put out by the whole thing I cried for a good 15 minutes I'm gonna make an insight <laughs> liar <laughs> you're fine you're fine Oh, don't worry. I'll buy you a good chicken when we get back. I'll buy you whatever you want. Fine. I'm sorry. Okay. So you get your you get your familiar, and then what? Um, I'm gonna cast. Um, yeah, I'm gonna re do the rich the comprehend language ritual. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> just take out a few implements, kind of chant at the um at the um the tablet, and just kind of go over it. Just spell. utter original. And you learn. Okay. So written around it, it says, We are hidden. And the symbols um, name different buildings in the city. Mm -hmm. And the maze seems to depict a path that connects the buildings. Hmm. You know, like first there, then over there, and then over there. Okay. So the first one. Uh, marketplace, Warriors thing, Amphitheater, Library of Mesro, College of Wizards, Aviary, Statue of Hosaw, Artist Simber, Heart of the Maze, and then the Temple of Uptow. Which Temple of Uptow, I think, is the one right in the center. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and it says, We are hidden, and the maze connects the locations in a sequence. All in favor of just trying to burn everything in the marketplace and then go search for a symbol? That sounds There's wonderful. enough stalls in there. We could set it on fire. Zombies are flammable. That if that you want to, uh, that, that jar of goo, if you want, you can sit oh, yeah. with it for an hour and you'll know what it does. Yeah, I guess it's it's been a busy morning, yes, as well. Um, and then while uh, you know, while uh, Lynette was reading and, and all that stuff, I'm going to do two things. First thing I'm going to do, well, uh, actually a question. Um, so we have no water right now, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, how how uh, big is the rain catcher that Iku set up? How much water can it hold? It's enough. Okay. Okay. So Pretty I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, create water. Oh, that oh. Is such a good spell. That is nice. um, it, assuming it can hold 10 gallons, it's it's 10 gallons worth of water. Yeah, all right. So that means that's 10 canteens. Well, yeah. Wait, no, canteen is half of a gallon, right? So I think you uh, have all, you each have to drink two, so you have enough, you have six, and then you have more? Oh, yeah. nice. Excellent. Okay. Um, and then the second thing I'll do is I will cast Aid, um, and then I'll choose myself, Lynette and Lemuel. Um, and everybody's uh, maximum hit points and current hit points goes up five. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. Um, How long does right. that last, Aid? Uh, eight hours. Oh, nice. Oh, man. All right. So Thank one you. thing before we leave, also in the morning would be um, I would have um, Iris help me with a fortune reading. And I'm going to use get my important things back. So I have a in my pocket a 11 and a 15. That's my important reading for the day. 11 and 15. And then also look at that. Spend time staring at that, trying to analyze that uh, unidentified jar. Oh, well, what is important reading? What does that do? Oh, those are um. I can. So I have two per day, two dice per day. And I can substitute that for any role during oh, the day. Okay. Okay, so, so it can be the, the jar. 
you want to uh, see what the jar is. It's called Kyotum's Ointment. Hmm. Um, it has four doses. It smells like aloe. Uh, you take an action, you can swallow it or put it put it on your skin. It'll heal you for 2d8 plus 2. And it'll also end any poison or disease effect that you have on you. Hmm. Also, I almost forgot something. Uh, don't forget that if you roll a 1 when you make a spell attack, something special. Yeah. Not... And um, each of you make a survival check. Okay. Um, good old, good old you all have repellent on, so, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, 13. Ooh, 15. Good. 12. Fine. There was a lot of... Okay, so, you know, you put the repellent on in the morning, you put more on. Um, some of the insects seem to ignore the repellent. They're actually immune to it here, some of them. Hmm. So you were swatting them away. So it was like, if you didn't have repellent, it would, might be really bad. But you're, you're okay. So, yeah. So, okay. You, you want to go burn that place down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You can, like, shoot firebolts in there and just, you know? So from reading the, reading the tablet, does it seem like we just have to go to these locations in order? Is there anything in particular that we have to do there? You're not sure. I think we should burn the marketplace down just in case. I mean, on principle, I'm fine with that whole concept. Yes, we just get these undead out of our way. Um, I have a question. When we um, we touch, when I touched that um, that obelisk in there, did that have any correspondence to like the um, like the pattern on the uh, the tablet? Yes. Hmm. In fact, you notice an obelisk outside hmm. the place you slept in. You notice an obelisk outside the marketplace. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So I'm just gonna slap my hand on the on the thing, and then the marketplace one. Um. Yep. The marketplace one first. Boom! It starts to glow. Psh, mm -hmm. And you see, you sort of see intangible lines connecting mm -hmm. to other parts of the city. One of which so connects to the obelisk <laughs> right across the street. You know. Mm -hmm. So this is familiar. This is pretty much the same thing that happened last time I touched it. Yeah, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well. And you, you, you so you're going to shoot some firebolts in there and just... The yeah, place just, yeah I think we should order. definitely set it on just, fire just to... Yeah. Just in case, not the obelisks. Okay. I'm throwing down sacred flame just for good measure. I mean, also maybe it'll, the goblins won't come back when they, you know, think that the city is a giant, you know, fireball. <laughs> a couple, um, like, stuntmen were set on fire, like, Fall out of the building into the water, <laughs> and the zombies are dead. <clears throat> okay, All right. So you touch this marketplace one, and it comes to life and glows. Mm -hmm. and then what would you like to do? Oh. Well, I. Maybe. Yes. Touch the one at the amphitheater. Yeah, we should. I guess follow uh, the was, uh, the pattern. Was wasn't the second one the the training the warrior? Oh, yep, you're number right. ten. Yeah, number correct. ten. Mm -hmm. So I think we should probably go there next. Yes. All right. Yes. Jungle. You can sail your canoes or your hippo, kind of go around the, the big main building. And again, you see the building is mostly covered in moss, and there's one or two spots where you see the weird metal or crystal that it's really made of shimmering. I think you guys, you, you looked at it last time, right? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. yep. and you felt weird when you looked at it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you go around, and you go to number 10. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Wind Hippodrome. Stands ahead. Much of the roof has collapsed, with the rest teetering atop a colonnade of pillars. Beneath these, a deep trench in the ground spans the length of the arena. And there's a there's a black obelisk outside of it. Hmm. Is there anything moving around it? No. You do hear some noises from inside the amphitheater. Just a faint kind of crunching of gravel or something. Just touch the obelisk and let's move on. <laughs> yep. All right. I happily just like yeah. Let's okay. The third one is the amphitheater where you slept. You gonna go back there and do that one? Yes. Yep. The next yep. one is the library of Mesro. An impressive building rests against the city walls. Tapered towers jab skyward from its roof. Jungle scenes are engraved over every inch of its stonework. Cracked steps in front of the building ascend to a tall door. There's a big obelisk out front. Tap 
touch the obelisk. Yep. <laughs> Comes to life. It's very quiet here, but you do hear the faint squeaking of wheels coming from inside the library. Oh. What's in there? <laughs> Surprise, the, the wizard is attracted to the library. Oh, of course. It's coming for knowledge. You remember what? what happened last time we went inside a building here, right? Oh, we got a tablet and this wonderful, like, you know, healing self. Right, that was it. That was the only thing that happened. I, I had a reading. We knew it, we were going to survive. Mm -hmm. It was fine. Mm -hmm. The inside of this building is probably particularly flammable. <laughs> <laughs> Iku says, well, if there's clues to where Omu is, it would probably be in this library. My children. I just nod. Yes. Yeah. Let's let's go. I can wait with hippo -y outside or whatever it's <laughs> hippodrome. Whatever. Did you call it hippodrome? <laughs> That's what they call the warriors or one of the places you went to, the hippodrome. So uh, hippodrome here. You can wait with me. Keep me company. Or you check out some books at the library. Well, if you hear loud noises or, or flashing from inside the thing, could you come and check on us? Yes, um, maybe. I don't know if I can do anything to help. I'm pretty sure you can. Maybe you'll learn something about Nanny Poo Poo, mm -hmm. who must be dealt with. <laughs> into the library. Okay, Happily so go into it. The library is three stories high. You go in. Yes. Yep. Okay, so you go in, you go down a little hall, and then it opens into um, a big room. The walls are lined with books, and the center has tables, you know, like where students would study at. Mm -hmm. And you see book carts being pushed by zombies that have blue triangles. And a couple zombies are, like, at the shelf, like, they have books out, and they're just staring at them, just standing there. One with a squeaking cart turns and looks at you and goes... <laughs> Goes back to pushing the cart. I look at it like. What would you like to do? All right, All right Lynette, this is your your call here. Well, we should. Um, how long did that? Let me just check how much, how long that uh that spell lasted for. One hour. You still have it. Yep. All right. So I'll. I'll Try and find a, um, maybe books on history, maybe. Okay, so you're going to start looking at the shelves in here? Yep, I'm just trying now, to find there are it. zombies around. I mean, do you mm -hmm. do anything special, or are you just... They didn't seem hostile. I'm just going to try and not make any noise while I be as quiet as I can. Okay. All right, so what are you two doing while Lynette starts looking at the book? Um, I'll just kind of stay within, you know, uh, shouting distance um, and just keep an eye on Lynette and make sure none of these zombies decide to get friendly. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, otherwise, I'm just kind of glancing around and taking a general view of this library. Okay. These books are really old. And um, Lynette, after a bit, like, say, 10 minutes, you find a book that seems like it would have a lot of good stuff. It's about the Barai, the uh, special, like, caretakers of, of Mesro from back in the day. Want to want to read that for a bit? Want to sit at a mm -hmm. table and read? Yep, I think I found something interesting. Also, the book has okay. a special stamp in it. That glows. Ooh. Ooh. Um, can we make our contact and see what that is? Just. You're pretty sure if this book leaves the building, all of the librarians are gonna come after you. <laughs> it's good to know. Very slowly. <laughs> but they well, can probably can... follow that mark wherever it goes. So. <laughs> Return the book, you know. You'll well, be like we need 100 to... miles away, and these zombie librarians will be coming after. You. <laughs> um, so I tell the group, like, if we need to take any of these books permanently, let's make this the last stop before well, we leave. Some of them seem to have a magic stamp, so <laughs> like, uh, maybe if you, you know, you, you can sign it out for a couple weeks. It's but if be... it's more than a couple weeks, <laughs> you got zombie librarians on your butt. They're gonna come. They're gonna come to wherever I, wherever I am. Yeah. It's cold north. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, so yeah, I'll just I'll. This book is pour about over. the Barai, who um, mm -hmm. used to live in Mesro. Um, one was King Osa. He's eighty years old. Uh, he's a, supposedly like he never dies. He's one thousand five hundred years old. 
And uh, as far as you know, he's still alive as of the writing of that book. His son was named Kualu. What the Barai do is um, the god Ubtau, the father of the dinosaurs, tests them in the temple of Ubtau in the center of the city. And if they're able to complete the test, he gives them special powers linked to Mesro. So Kualu, got, his son, passed the test, and he got the power to command locusts. And he's also hmm. strikingly handsome. Delamis Rayburton is a Barai who can understand every language. Oh, that's a guy. It's an older man with a beard. Uh, Alessandra Rayburton is a half tabaxi, half cat lady. Hmm. Uh, she's uh, she can speak to animals and dinosaurs. Then there's a special one about Mainu. There's a lot of details on Mainu, who is very regal. Um, she's golden eyes that glow like the sun. She controls water and creatures within ten miles of Mesro. Um, it says it's it is said that her body looks. This is how they described it. Her body looks like water molded into the shape of a voluptuous woman. Hmm. She can also take the form of a piranha or a swarm of quippers, which is a fish, I think. Well, that is very interesting. Then there's Fipia, a young girl of 15. She can command plant life around Mesro. And the last one, there's like three chapters on this guy. Nissi, also known as Raz Nissi. He was one of the first Barai ever created, and he has the ability to muster the dead. And his symbol was that of a blue triangle. Blue triangle. Ah, yes. Yeah. And I don't he, like that guy. Mm -mm. Reanimate leaving, the corpses of dinosaurs. Dead everywhere. Uh, and he looks like a huh. noble. He has a rapier. And um, Raz Nissi kind of turned against the people and raised an army of the undead. And he's not. They're and not just, a fan of him. And just left all. them here. Yeah, I wonder how that turned out. <laughs> yeah. All throughout the jungle, there's undead with the triangle. God. They're all over the place. Yes. So yeah, that's uh, what you... Oh, and let's see, what else would you learn from the book? Omu at one time was a, another city. It does mention Omu a few times. And mm. kind of gives you the sense it's somewhere near the peaks of flame far to the south. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to try to learn from the book or the library? I yeah. Well, I, I would maybe try and uh, find any information on that uh, nanny poo poo. Anything that would correspond to some figure or that like that. So after kind of like giving you guys this really like kind of like enthusiastic explanation of like what was in the book, I kind of take out my well, my pendants and kind of like follow it around. The uh, the library. So there's yeah, a book. If, if, if we see any dinosaurs with blue triangles on them, let's go the other direction. Oh, any any of those any undead dinosaurs. I like regardless. the way you think. Regardless <laughs> of of blue, blue triangles or not. All right, nanny poo poo. Let's see here. There you are. Okay. Um. Ancient Crone. So I guess you find info in a much newer uh -huh. book. Uh, an Ancient Crone. Uh, enemy of the Terra Folk. The Pterodactyl people. Uh, she's served by flying monkeys. And she seems to have the ability to create golems made of flesh. And Mbala was just a nice little village. You also, there's, nice. there's news on other creepy old crones. Do you want to read those? Yeah, sure. I'm here the book for information. Much more about three women known as the Sewn Sisters. Cool. A widow Groat has gold coins that cover her eyes and ants that nest in her skull. <laughs> Peg of dead bells wears a string of chattering children's teeth and thumps about on a heavy peg leg. When she laughs, yellow gas billows out of her nose and ears. She has a pouch made of gnome skin. Baggy That's Nana cool. has a squirmy snake or a chicken or a dog. And nobody knows what's really under the bag. They're, they actually work together. And when they're, when oh, they're close a... to each other... They're spell they, they have access to more powerful spells. Mm. They're 
like vile and very, very evil. Yeah, that sounds horrifying. Oh, there's so many interesting magic users here. Be good to know what they know. It'd also be good to be alive. <sighs> One of the zombies goes... So I say, one's walking after... towards you with a stamper. <laughs> mm -hmm. I it? like just I lay the book down. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. You know how a library works. This is normal. You know, the symbol <laughs> will slowly fade over the course of two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> did Did it stamp Lynette, <laughs> or did it stamp the book? Well, no, I could. <laughs> sure. Why not? Sure. <laughs> Do it. Okay. You have a glowing. Stamper on you. Mm -hmm. I just take that in stride. It's like, yep. It's like a maze. It's normal. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I think there's to be a pattern around here about having mazes. The Library of Mesro. Official. <laughs> Property. <laughs> well, one good thing about this nanny poo poo is that she is the enemy of the terror folk. Like that, that gentleman with a sword. That's making us do things. That might be something. So, okay. Um, you were activating the pillars. Mm-hmm. You, you, mm -hmm. you got a clue to where Omu is. So do you want to keep activating the pillars, or do you want to? What do you want to do next? Mm. Our original thing was to find... Huh. Let's keep activating the pillars. Yeah, I'm sure something interesting will happen once we, we activate here. all of them. Okay. Yeah, we just kind of have a general direction from where we might be able to get a little bit more specific. I mean, the more information we get back, the better reward that we'll get. Okay. Sure. Exactly. All right, so well, we can just stop there because we're almost out All of right. time. So. All right, so next time you'll do the rest of the pillars.